while protecting our pollinators. Birds, bats, bees, and of course those pretty butterflies are all essential to our ecosystem. Pollinating plants that are responsible for bringing us one out of every three bites of food. And here in Tampa, a woman is passionate about providing them the essentials. So this morning, 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us live from South Tampa to show us how she has created a butterfly oasis right in the middle of the city there, Jenny. Yeah, I mean, we're in the middle of South Tampa. It's hard to believe there is this beautiful butterfly garden right here. And when the sun comes up and the butterflies warm up their wings, they are all over around all of these plants. It's truly beautiful. But you know, with the Tampa Bay population growing so rapidly and so many things expanding, and of course the increase in pesticide use, our pollinators, they're needing a little extra help these days. The woman who owns this place is passionate about doing that, just that and teaching others to do the same. Okay guys, you're gonna unzip. Lots of butterflies. It's butterfly release day for these kids who have spent the week at camp learning about these beautiful <laughs> pollinators. And it's like Christmas. It's all, you know, it's just watching them, their faces light up, the butterflies fly away, and then they're watching all the butterflies all around the whole yard and property. I mean, it's, it's, I don't think it ever gets old, no matter how old you get. Anita Camancho loves teaching kids about the importance of pollinators at her nursery in South Tampa. They absolutely absorb it like sponges and they love it. They love getting dirty. They love learning about the bugs. They're not afraid. As an avid gardener most of her life, Anita has a very personal reason for teaching people the importance of native plants and protecting our pollinators. About 25 or so years ago, my mother was diagnosed with Parkinson's and she is an avid gardener. When she was diagnosed with that disease, I didn't really understand it. I did some research and found that it was linked to toxic pesticide exposure. And she says anyone, anywhere can create their own oasis. And it's just little small areas and we're a small nursery in South Tampa in a very urban area and we have a ton of pollinators here. And it's easy to get those pollinators in your area. Anita is with me now. Anita, how simple is this, even if you have a small area? Well, it's quite simple. I and mean, we have here a butterfly garden in a pot where we have a couple of host plants, which host plants are for the caterpillars. And butterflies will lay their eggs. This is a milk, native milkweed. And then you need nectar for the adults. So it's pretty simple. A couple plants in a pot and you're on your way. And then this is more important than ever now because just this week there was an important announcement about the monarchs. Right, yesterday it was announced that monarchs are now on the endangered species list. So we knew this was coming. Uh, it's been a long time in coming uh, with the decline over the last 25 years. So uh, really important to get their habitat planted in your yard, put in a, on your patio and let them be wild so they can grow their population. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us and telling Thank us your you. story and telling us how we can all do our part to protect our pollinators. In South Tampa, Jenny Dean, 10 Tampa Bay. A great spot. Thanks, Jenny.